Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you back. We are back with the Vishnu Sastram playlist a bit late for this week. And today we shall not continue with the Vishnu Sastram, but uh, there are so many questions which you have asked me. So uh, let's address all of these today. So primarily this uh, area is about uh, Bhishma Pitama and uh, there's a question which is asked and I would like to answer this question through the medium of this video and this topic especially that how should we develop our uh, leadership qualities okay uh, leadership basically means to take care of yourself and then to take care of others so many times people uh, they think that leadership means to take care of others only no leadership means first you take care of yourself you you become a good uh, leader within yourself which means you you do what you are supposed to do you do that which you are supposed to do which you know and when you should do to what extent okay only then you can uh, claim to be uh, leading others if you cannot lead yourself you cannot lead anybody else so those people who uh, claim to lead others and have a lot of followers and fan following but they cannot lead themselves their own lives then they end up becoming more frustrated than even an ordinary person okay so today's video is very crucial because um, we have to understand the biggest uh, secret of leadership actually if you do not understand this and you superficially uh, keep doing uh, leadership seminars and courses it will never help you actually you can do all those but uh, it will only be able to help you to a limited extent okay so if you check uh, the Vishnu Sasanam what is going on actually there is one person who can do all of this but he's not doing who is that Krishna himself see this is very interesting you have to understand the this is a very foundational principle of the Vishnu Sasanam so Krishna, he, as uh, Srimad Bhagavatam says, you know, Ete Cham Sakala Pumsam, Krishna Astu Bhagavan Swamber. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. He is God himself. But, and there is nothing which God cannot do if he wants. He can make these universes and he can also convince people. But if you see, it's very strange how this Vishnu Sastanam comes actually. Yudhishthir Maharaj, as I had said this in the initial part of my playlist, Yudhishthir Maharaj, after the war, is devastated. He feels that because of his own greed and uh, hunger for power, uh, he fought this war. So that is the symptom of a great soul. A great soul always feels uh, very bad for the suffering of others. He feels that he is responsible for the downfall of others. He feels like this. And an egoistic person, a degraded person, always feel that everybody else is the cause of their own downfall. Like Duryodhana is the perfect example. Duryodhana always used to say, oh, this cook, uh, because of this Kunti, I have uh, lost the war. Because of my, uh, because my brothers have not fought nicely or, you know, Drona does not fight properly. Bhishma did not fight. That is why I lost the war. You know, people cheated me and all, all this nonsense. So... Why did he lose the war? Why did the war start at all in the first place? Because of his stupidity and his egoistic pride, arrogance, greed and all this. There was no need of this war. And then, of course, you know, he lost the war because of his own mistakes. Nobody else is to be blamed. But he always used to give the blame on, you know, Drona and Bhishma. Because of them, I have lost this war. You know, when they, are the most, they were the most formidable warriors in his army, actually. You know, so... Uh, so th that's the difference between Yudhishthir and um, Duryodhana actually. So, so then what happens, uh, Krishna tries to convince Yudhishthir, but Krishna intentionally, because he's God, so he, now if he's God, Krishna says himself in the Gita that, you know, I'm there in everybody's heart. Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Vridhese Arjuna Tishthati. So if he wants, he can exactly speak those words, which will convince Yudhishthir. He can do it very easily, right? Not a big deal for him. But he intentionally does not do that. He he speaks, but he speaks in a way, uh, apparently it seems that he's uh, doing a very good job, but uh, 
internally krishna purposefully he does not speak in a way that yudhishthi gets convinced or it's very conflicting you know it's like uh in as my guru used to say now this is like inter bhagwan conflict <laughs> uh i mean uh, the parmatma and krishna they are same but so what was happening was krishna was telling to uh, yudhishthir externally uh, as god and then uh, krishna in, in as uh, the parmatma which is, who is inside yudhishthir's heart was telling no 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 this krishna is just bluffing don't listen to him you know you are responsible you you, you because of you the war has happened you know, you, you are the culprit actually and then um, then krishna said the outer krishna <laughs> the outer krishna said that you go and talk to vyasdev he will convince you so vyasdev is shaktya veshapta he is a literary incarnation he is empowered living entity basically so he is also like vishnu only so he uh, he went to vyasdev and vyasdev said no no you are responsible all the stuff but yudhishthir was not convinced again the parmatma inside as krishna was telling don't listen to vyasdev he is just bluffing you are responsible for this war why did krishna do this because he wanted that there is one personality who can convince yudhishthir who should get the credit for convincing yudhishthir maharaj that is not he neither vyasdev who is that bhishma pitama because after yudhishthir maharaj uh, had this discussion with bhishma pitama uh, different editions of the mahabharat give different days so some say he had this discussion for 52 days some say 54 some say 56 days okay so after this he was convinced so you have to understand this this is how leaders behave actually so the first the first principle of leadership is you uh, or i would say the first and the only principle okay uh, it is that you should stay with leaders who are better than you actually because then you don't have to keep reading books you don't have to listen to lectures nothing you can directly take their example and you can imbibe that in your life so krishna as a leader what he does is now krishna is like superior subordinate uh, leader authority let's assume like this and yudhishthir is like the subordinate of okay. and bhishma is also like krishna subordinate everybody is subordinate to krishna but here so here what krishna does is uh, although he can do something he still does not do because he wants uh, somebody else to take the credit so this is a very important quality of a leader the leader never wants to take credit the leader always wants to give others the credit okay and krishna also does this before in fact uh, krishna and arjuna has this discussion that uh, you know the kauravas are being very heavy and uh, they they are because their size is bigger they had you know 11 akshohinis and the pandavas had only 7 akshohinis so krishna tells to arjuna uh, that don't worry i can just take my sudarshan chakra and i can wipe all of these these all these crooks out within a moment i can do that but i won't do that i want that you get the credit my dear arjuna you and yudhishthir bhim nakul sadev you five of you should get the credit that is why i will sit in this chariot as a sarathi as a charioteer who rides the chariot and you get all the glory you take the limelight you get the name and fame let people tell that you and bhima you wiped out all the kauravas and that's true bhima had wiped out all the 100 kurus and uh, arjuna had uh, wiped out all the other prominent kurus also i mean uh, members of the kuru army of course you know like uh, bhishma karna and then this uh, what was his name uh, bhagdatta and all all these uh, characters actually so and then this tadumna had uh, wiped out the dronacharya okay so so anyways the thing is that a leader always wants to give credit to others whenever there is an opportunity because uh, whenever you give credit to others they feel uplifted and then they become more dedicated to you actually rather than if you always try to take the credit oh actually it's me you know humne bataya tha tab kiya usne ye to mera chela hai <laughs> yes have you seen people trying to uh, suck credit you know it's like parasites 
have you seen uh, parasites you know they're like leech sucking blood uh, so some people are like that some leaders are like that right are tu kya karega hum nahi hai to hamare bina kaise karega hum hai tab tab tabhi tu hai nahi to hum nahi to tu kaun so whatever it is they may externally say oh actually it was your hard work your dedication you know you did it actually but internally you know they are like this uh, parasite you know they are like just sucking blood you know they, they everybody knows that they are actually they are superficially telling but indirectly uh, they are indicating that it is because of them actually that their support there are successful so this is a very important quality so the first thing is you if you have to understand how leadership works you have to read about these great personalities you have to read about you should read about lord ram lord krishna then bhishma then all the 12 mahajan swambhu narada shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishmo balirvaya sakhi payam the 12th uh, the 12 mahajans are mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam this these are they are mentioned by yamaraj to the yamadutas okay so this this is there in the sixth canto of shrimad bhagavatam so you can type uh, exotic astrology 12 mahajans i had made a video 3 years back you can watch that but anyways individually you should learn about all of these mahajans okay now swambhu is brahma then swambhu narad narad is narad muni narad shambhu shambhu is lord shiva okay then kumar means the four sons of brahma they are categorized as one sanat kumar especially sanatan and all these and then uh, narada shambhu kumaro kapilo kapilo is kapil muni he is the son of devahuti and karada muni he is also vishnu himself then uh, kapilo manu manu is swambhu manu he is the son of lord brahma himself so he is also mahajan he is the father of uh, devahuti actually and um, kumaro kapilo manu prahlad prahlad is none other than prahlad maharaj himself for whom lord narsingh dev appeared janak is father of sita devi janak bhishma again bhishma pitama is here all right and then uh, swambhu narad shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlad janak bhishma bali bali maharaj is uh, the grandson of kalam maharaj okay. who uh, for whom vaman dev had incarnated and took uh, all the those three steps bali vayasakhi vayasakhi is sukhdev goswami the speaker of the shrimad bhagavatam he is the son of maharishi vyas vayam vayam means we we means yamaraj is including himself in that okay so you will find uh, information about these great personalities in the shrimad bhagavatam so if you study about them and you see this is just an example i have given that uh, you see how krishna has behaved and uh, what bhishma does that is also very exemplary bhishma is like a subordinate to krishna but he is uh, so now krishna as a uh, authority is wanting to give credit to bhishma so such a beautiful relationship and bhishma as a subordinate is not saying oh after all yeah it's me you know come 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 i'll explain he is wanting to give credits to krishna actually and that is why he is speaking the vishnu sahasra naam okay can you imagine i mean that's beyond imagination i mean you you make a, imagine there is a manager you make a sahasra naam for your manager i mean it's it's you cannot think about it it's impossible right but bhishma does this does that as a subordinate mm-hmm. and yudhishthir is like somewhere in between he is uh, i mean he is subord not between sorry he is even subordinate to bhishma here so what does yudhishthir do you know yudhishthir follows the instruction of the leader krishna first that okay go and listen uh, from bhishma then he goes and listens from bhishma and then he gets convinced okay so he follows what his authority said so therefore um, a leader should also be a good follower first of all okay many times people think that leadership uh, means only to lead and those who follow they are weak no a leader should be follower of his or her guru and the scriptures and these great personalities other leaders if a, if a leader cannot be a good 
uh, sorry, they should be a follower of these personalities. And if they cannot be a good follower, they can never, never, never be a good leader. All the great personalities in the scriptures, you will see the first quality they have is they are very good followers of their gurus. Even Lord Ram's example you take or Krishna's example you take, whatever their guru said, executed without any doubt, without any apprehension, without questioning, without without any ifs and buts, not like people of Kali Yuga today. But Guruji, but if, but if, but, 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 all the time, but, 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 but. Have you seen in YouTube or anywhere, anything you say, they are like, but it's like this, but in my opinion, but I think, but for me, but it was, but, 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 but. So once my guru was telling that, uh, if you keep saying but all the time with uh, your gurus, then uh, at the end of your life, uh, you pray to Krishna that, oh Krishna, please liberate me from this uh, ocean of birth and death. And then uh, Krishna will tell you, you know, I want to protect you. But <laughs> so this does not mean that you blindly follow uh, some fake guru or uh, in anybody and everybody. But the thing is, when you are uh, taking shelter of a bona fide guru, you should be very submissive and Learn from the teachings of that guru, okay? Because Krishna says in the Gita, Tad Vidhi Pranipate Na Pari Prashne Na Sevaya Upadek Chantite Gyanam Gyani Nas Tattva Darshinaha. So first render service, do some seva to the guru and then inquire submissively, okay? Instead of uh, broadcasting your stupidity and your superficial knowledge, which many people don't like to hear. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, so we should learn to follow these great Mahajans because the scriptures say Mahajano Yena Gata Sapanta, which means we should follow in the footsteps of these Mahajans. Okay. We should learn from their life how to lead a good life and only then we can uh, become a good leader. Otherwise, uh, we will be wasting a lot of time, energy, money, efforts doing personality development, leadership courses. You can do a hundred thousand million leadership courses. You can be the biggest millionaire, billionaire, or the most beautiful, most intelligent, most smart, most charming, most influential personality in this entire world. But you will be doomed because you do not know what is the end goal of everything, which is to obtain perfection in spiritual life. That is the end goal that is to please God as Srimad Bhagavatam says um, Shrama Evahi Kevalam anything which does not please Lord Vishnu ultimately it is such a waste of time Shrama Evahi Kevalam it's a useless wasteful endeavor all right so you can do leadership courses you can learn you can uh, learn the art of leadership but the most important thing is you have to learn from these great Mahajans okay you have to learn from personalities like Yudhishthir, like Lord Krishna, like Lord Ram, like Bhishma, like Vyasdev, like Arjuna, how to be a good disciple. Only then you can be a good leader. All right. Otherwise, you will just be running around. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And in the next video, we shall continue with our um, Vishnu Sasanam series. And uh, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you... Uh, want a consultation from me you can go to my website down below all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him